The first step is essentially finding product market fit. Now, what, what does that mean? When you look at a, a market, um, you, you, you look at particular communities within a market or segments within a market, you know, that have specific kinds of interest. You could have people interested in mixed martial arts, for instance, or people interested in yoga, or people interested in actually coffee. You know, so you, you need to find a need in a particular audience. It could be a mass market product, but there'll still be a subgroup of people who are very enthusiastic about the product, about a particular product. So find a niche down to a particular group of people and figure out what their needs are and come up with a product that serves that need. What you then do is create a focus group of people in that group that will be open to buying your, your product. When you do that, you're, you're, you're testing you know, the market essentially, you're testing those group of people and getting necessary feedback. When they give you feedback, you figure out, okay, these are the things I need to improve on and these are the things that I, I definitely have nailed in, in this particular product. And a lot of the time, e-commerce entrepreneurs already are participants within this group. So you find people who, for instance, who, who are yoga practitioners, you know, releasing products in the yoga space because they know the space really well. But until you get a group of people, you will not reach statistical significance as to the impact of your, your test. You then need to start looking for sourcing. You know, where are you going to source, you know, the production of the goods? And it could be local. It could be in the Far East. It could be in Asia. It really, really depends on what you're selling. The essential thing, the most important thing before launching a product is that test phase of creating a prototype product and finding a group of 20, maybe 30 or even 100 people to test that product out and give you the necessary feedback. After that, it's, it's down to advertising, building an audience and building a community.